and then, ooh, kind of some hard braking. Okay, all right, now, ooh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, no, 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 no. So this this part of the, of the journey, I'm like insanely impressed right now. Um, I haven't done anything in a while. Whoa, failing. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge. This is uh, in the snow edition. So another highly requested Tesla Challenge and it hasn't snowed yet. This is the first snow of the year. Pretty early for a big snow like this. It's not unheard of, um, but not normal either. So it's pretty slippery out here, as you can imagine. Um, I have full regen on. Uh, I didn't limit that. If I completely let off the accelerator, yeah, you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but we're sliding there a little bit. So I've changed the rules of the challenge just a little bit. Uh, instead of going through the whole challenge and at the end just saying pass or fail, I will give my opinion on how it did, uh, and I'll give it more of like a letter rating, maybe an A, B, C, how the car uh, did in its task of driving me from on-ramp to off-ramp. But I also want your input. I'm noticing a lot of times I'm really hard on the car, so I'm really strict and like the car needs to do everything pretty much perfectly or I'm not gonna be happy with it. Um, and you guys are a little more forgiving most of the time. So I'm noticing sometimes I'll call it a fail. Wow, it's really hard to see here. Um, and you know, in the comments, you guys are like, no, 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 the car did fine. You know, calm down. You don't need to be so hard on it. Um, so, oh, sliding there. Um, so yeah, I wanna get you involved and you tell me what you think if you agree with my rating. Um, you can also give it a letter rating. So let's see how the car is gonna do. It's not snowing all that hard. You can see visibility isn't that bad. And there's just a little bit of snow flying around. It's not like a huge blizzard or anything. We will have Tesla Challenge Blizzard Edition when the time comes, don't worry about that. So let's do a little traction test. It's uh, customary whenever it's snowing, when you first go out, you wanna see how the traction is. So step on it. Oh yeah, the car. <laughs> oh, we had a little symbol there that we're sliding. The car, when I stepped on it, didn't even move. Traction control on these cars is amazing. Um, now when I let off the accelerator, yeah, we're sliding, now we're not. Um, so just a little bit of sliding going on. It's really not too bad. Um, now if I now if I whip it around this corner, we're gonna be sliding all over the place. No cars. So if I step on it, cars. I'm, I'm all the way to the floor. Cars not moving. Um, so again, the traction control is really amazing. So one thing I'm noticing in these challenge videos is a lot of people watching them are new to my channel, which is not surprising. Uh, but a little more surprising is a lot of these people are brand new to Tesla. They really don't know anything about these cars. So if you're familiar with autopilot and stuff, feel free to skip this part. But I have to do this because a lot of people are watching these and they're confused. So Tesla's autopilot, when you're on the highway, once you turn it on, it will stay in your lane, keep your speed, keep distance from the car in front of you, but it'll also change lanes all on its own, as long as your hand's on the wheel, and it'll take exits, it'll do exchanges onto other highways. So pretty much on the highway, it does everything. It'll then take your off-ramp when you're done, and then you take over at that point. So once you turn autopilot on, you have to keep a hand on the wheel. So I always have a hand on the wheel. I usually keep it in the bottom left corner of the steering wheel, or bottom right, and I just kind of let the dead weight of my hand rest there. That way the car knows my hand's on the wheel. So right now, I actually, can't even use autopilot, so not <laughs> looking good for this challenge so far, um, because there are no lane lines, so to turn it on, you gotta, you know, you double click that, and then uh, it'll start steering for you, but I guess the snow is blocking the lines, and I can't turn it on at all. Okay, so autopilot is now on in the snow, and once it's on, it's not normally gonna turn itself off. Now from here, it can't really do anything but keep me in the lane and keep my speed, but <laughs> since it can't really see the lane lines, um, I am not gonna trust it very much, uh, but it's actually not doing a bad job. So since it has a car to follow, it should it should actually do pretty good. Uh, but you can see these lines are kind of squiggling just a little bit. Um, normally they don't do that. Those lines are solid because the car can see them. All right, so here we go. Man, the roads have not been treated at all. Traction control is constantly working here. Oh, there's a, oh man, sliding, <laughs> going sideways. That's all right. You can slide a little bit. So we do have a, you can see a salt truck up there. So that's pretty good, but I'll probably pass them. Okay, so it looks like the highway has been treated. So we shouldn't have a problem turning autopilot on. And I'm surprised to not see a lot of traffic. I still can't turn it on. Um, so, okay, autopilot's on. 
I, yep, it's changing lanes. Here you go. Uh, nope, it's not changing lanes. Let's get over. So it's doing really well with that. So, okay, navigate on autopilot has been turned off, meaning now the car cannot make its own lane changes or anything. Um, so I wanna make sure my following distance is, yeah, three is good, three is pretty far. Um, and then this plow thing got on this side, just kind of weird. So I would like to change into the other lane. This is gonna be really tricky. Uh, I wish this guy would just pass the plow. He's obviously, okay, there we go. So pretty good. Um, the car is not attempting to <laughs> change lanes. I'm not sure why. Um, so we're actually on Mad Max right now. Um, and I'm gonna leave it. Let's just, let's just let it do its thing. Um, windshield wipers, I'm gonna do manually. Um, but from here on out, the car is gonna do everything. I'm gonna try not to interfere. I'm not gonna do anything unsafe. Of course, if I need to take over, I will be doing that. Uh, but let's see if the car can make it. We've got about 25 miles to go uh, without me doing anything, uh, which <laughs> that keeps happening. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do a manual lane change here. So we've kind of already, <laughs> if this was the old style, we've already failed, um, but we're, we're on a grading scale now, so that's all right. I just need to get out of that lane. So you can see here the car is having a hard time seeing the lanes, which is surprising because I can see them fine. Um, but if it was seeing the left lane clearly, there'd be a line over here uh, and there's no line. And then I can just tell that these blue lines are kind of just jumping around a little bit, uh, which means the car isn't exactly certain of where they are. Now we have a car we're following, but I don't want to go that slow. So I need to take over again and we can turn it back on. So. It is seeing the lines okay, it's just uh, not seeing them very well. And then again, it can't see this far line over here now. So I guess it just can't see very far is the main problem right now. Okay, navigate on autopilot, turns back on. Or, ugh, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> it was gonna change lanes. I imagine it saw that car up there that's going slowly in the right lane. So it uh, decided not to do that. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna be pretty similar to the rain challenge where Navigate on autopilot just on and off the whole time and then ooh, kind of some hard braking. Okay. All right <laughs> No, no sliding at all um, I, You know, I don't think we're gonna do too much sliding the highway should be warm enough. It looks like it's treated. It's salted um, so oh, Still still makes me a little nervous though so Passing a large truck here uh, while people in front are braking, but okay, not too hard. Um, and the car seems like it kind of tried to move over, um, like one of those new abilities where it can move over when passing semis, but it didn't do a very good job of it. Uh, and now Navigate and Autopilot is back on, which conditions have not really improved at all, so that's pretty interesting. Um, if the wipers are going too fast, Navigate and Autopilot won't work but I have the wiper set at two. I manually set them at two and that will not turn off Navigate on Autopilot. So every time it's turning off, it's because the cameras are obstructed in some way. Uh, we do have an error message here. So this error message, Navigate on Autopilot currently unavailable. And I don't know, now it won't let me read that for some reason, that's weird. So you can tell everybody out here is a little nervous. <laughs> They're going really slow. Uh, normally on this road, people are going like 80 and I'm, I'm trying not to go 80 and I'm getting tailgated. So uh, everyone being cautious, which is really good. I don't like their following distances though. They're very close to each other. So Navigate on Autopilot turns on and the car immediately goes to do a lane change. So I, I've noticed this a lot. And what that means is even Okay, now it turns off. Even when Navigate on Autopilot is off, the car is ready to make lane changes and it's making those decisions even when it can't do it. So if I manually turn it off, it's still trying to make lane changes. It just, of course, doesn't have the ability because I'm not letting it. But the second I turn it on, it'll turn on the turn signal and start making it. Um, so it's always, always, always making those decisions even when the, the feature is not available. And that's what Tesla calls shadow mode. Even if Autopilot isn't on, the way you're driving, the car is kind of checking itself against you. And if it, you make a different decision, it then can send that data to Tesla and they can see why was the car gonna do something and you did something different. All right, so again, I'm gonna take over. This guy's going a little too slow. 
for my taste, must be from Florida or something. Okay, and again, the car wants to get over. So, so it's very short-sighted, and I think it's because of the conditions. So it sees that this car in front of us is going slow, um, but it has no idea what's going on in this lane. So it's just giving it a try. And now, oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, the car was gonna keep speeding up there. And I could tell that they weren't going very fast. And your worst enemy in the snow is dramatic changes of speed. So the car was gonna keep speeding up until it got close to that car, and then it was gonna abruptly start to slow down. And I don't know, I, I don't think it's all that slippery out right now, but I'm, I'm not gonna find out that way, that's for sure. Whoa, failing. Look at, it's still steering though. It's still steering. It's still steering. It's still steering. It's still steering. This is really loud and annoying though. I'm hitting the accelerator, but it's still steering. Okay, I'll take over. Okay, autopilot's back. I'm immediately gonna turn it on before it disappears again. Uh, you can see for a while there, there weren't even any cars, so it really was struggling here. So I'm really surprised navigating on autopilot is functional right now because there's no way the car's seeing the lines. Um, it does have the lead car, but like, <laughs> would it really attempt a lane change right now? I find that hard to believe. Um, oh, actually, that's pretty funny. So it's seeing this as a solid line. Um, it's kind of switching back and forth because it, I guess it looks like a solid line because you can't see that they're dashed under there. All right, a little bit of braking here. So this this part of the, of the journey, I'm like insanely impressed right now. Um, I haven't done anything in a while, and the Navigator Autopilot is still on. The car is like staying in the lane really well. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, so the beginning was a little sketchy, but but I'm I'm pretty impressed with this right now. Oh boy. <laughs> That was, that was my fault. Um, I'm trying to get the, there's some snow trapped under my left windshield blade and I'm trying to get it off of there. And I think I messed up the camera by spraying the, uh, the windshield fluid up there. Well, my goal of getting the snow off the windshield wiper was a success, but now I can't turn autopilot back on, uh, and it being gone this long makes me think it was something else. Uh, not just, you know, the camera being obstructed for a second, because it seems to even be seeing lines a lot of the time, but I just can't turn it back on. Oh, so I think here's our problem. Uh, I can't even turn cruise control on because it says, reduced front radar visibility. Uh, it's weird that it says front radar because it's the only radar on the car, but uh, darn. Uh, so you're supposed to put uh, never wet over the radar. That's what Tesla says to do, and I haven't done it yet. So if there is a bunch of snow buildup on there, which like, you know, I park in the garage, so it's not from the car sitting out overnight. It would just be from driving. Um, that means the radar might be covered. We might be done here. Uh, that would be unfortunate, but we'll see. So it's pretty clear at this point, uh, autopilot is not gonna work for the rest of this drive. Uh, what I'm noticing though, is you can see all the lane lines are showing up. Uh, so the cameras are working. The cameras are seeing the lane lines, but we don't see any cars around us, which number one, I find a little weird because the cameras can see the cars. Um, but number two, it tells us the radar for sure is not working. And we can, again, 
that error message. Just once down is adaptive cruise control and it says um, radar visibility reduced. So I will go out there when I'm done with my drive and I'll get a little footage of the front of the car um, to show you what the radar looks like. The radar, if you're looking at the car, it's on the front left. So it's on the right side of the car. Um, so you can see exactly how much snow we got on there. Now, it is a problem, um, but luckily it has a solution and you just put that never wet on there and I should have done that and I, just, I don't know, I, I didn't think uh, it, was, it was time for that yet. Um, but I will be sure to do that today so that I don't run into this problem in the future. So my grade um, for this one, I don't know, man. It's, it's partially my fault because I, I didn't put that stuff on there. I'm, gonna, I'm giving it an F. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm pretty critical. You're getting an F today. You know what? F minus. You're getting an F minus. Um, only because not just this is a failure. But in the beginning, I did take over so much. Now in the middle portion there, I was really happy and I wasn't doing anything. The car was like doing great. And so I was in my mind kind of raising my grade up more and more. Um, but I don't know, it's just a little too much with, with speeding up and, and then kind of hitting the brakes. And you can't do that in the snow, you can't. And you know, when Tesla says on-ramp to off-ramp, they don't give any qualifiers, they just say, on ramp to off ramp so they don't say that oh but don't do it in the snow don't do it in the rain you know whatever so uh i'm sure this will get better over time but for now i'm gonna have to drive myself a lot in the snow so uh, we will revisit this in the future i'll put the never wet on uh we'll look for some heavier snow this is very wet slushy snow um we'll look for some like real blizzard it's middle of winter the ground is frozen kind of snow and that'll be a totally different animal um, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, and I will talk to you down in the comments. See you in the next video.